hi everybody welcome back to my channel now today i'm going to show you how to set up your seller account or even how to even register okay i want to show you a series of videos on how i upload my my products or my online uh, products on seller and how i make money out of it okay so i want to show you how i do it but first the first video i want to show you is how to first um, register on seller the platform and then make money okay so let's go straight to the tutorial you want to start by just typing seller maybe let's add my name to it set bunny and then let's see the results that we get let's see okay so you can see over here um these are some of the products i have on seller and i i, I must say they are really selling out really well okay as if you're a graphic designer this is one of the things that you also have to do okay so you can see my name over here my picture over here um this is the youtube channel or psd file so anybody that um buys my product on youtube all right any anybody who wants access to any psd on youtube once they click on the link on youtube it brings them to sell over here they make the purchase and then it sends them to telegram so you see i'm going to show you all this process it sends them to telegram as well and then they are able to have access to everything so i'm going to show you how to set up yourself your telegram account how to upload your um your how to set up your product and also how to um link it to your telegram account as well all right and so let's just go straight into the tutorial first thing i want you to do is just type seller all right and then just click on the first one seller.co and then it's just going to open it for you seller is just an online digital uh, product platform okay now people still sell their hard uh should I say hard copy <laughs> they sell their real products over there as well adding the delivery fees and stuff but then if you're a graphic designer most of the things you are going to be doing is just online products okay so you can see it over here um you can see it over here. people sell their their pdfs uh people sell their uh, templates people i mean this is crazy people are selling stuff over here all right and so and then it also has international currencies it accepts paypal mpesa etel tigo stripe if you're in ghana you you realize that it accepts momo etel tigo it accepts them all accepts visa card worldwide that's the beauty about seller and that is why i chose seller as well okay now it also accepts paypal but because paypal is not accepted in ghana i don't really like to put that option in my um you know in my in my store all right so let's get started for free let's click on it and then let's see how it goes i'm going to use a demo account and i wish you use your real account setting up is quite easy very easy okay i don't need to go through all these stuff if you are already um using a gmail account chances are you are good to go so just click on the gmail icon over here and then uh once it shows up a new screen comes you just select the one that you are you are going for okay um let's see let's just see i'm going to use um uh, prosper it's one of the accounts i created for someone we're going to use that one and then um, it's going to ask us if we are going to set up our bank account all right and so let's see set up bank details add product um let's add our bank account okay because you want to get paid for it it's very important the money is the money aspect is very important all right so which country are you from i'm from ghana um which bank um let me type e let me see echo echo bank ghana so if i'm in ghana i like to use echo bank because echo bank is very swift i used to use access bank but i don't know i don't want to i don't want to say any bad thing about it but i prefer echo bank now and so get an echo bank account if you are in ghana and then link it to it all right then the branch i am going to choose let me just see whether i can get madina no madina no madina no madina no madina then if there's no madina i'm going to use echo bank ghana limited it still works all right and then the bank account this is where you put your bank detail all right and with that just click on continue click on ok also it also wants to prompt you to add a product because that's the reason why you are on seller you want to sell something ok and so or maybe perhaps you also want to buy something as well there's nothing bad about that as well alright so what do you want to sell what do you want to sell digital product digital product um, services courses yeah I, I, you can sell your online courses as well over there it's crazy this platform is crazy 
does he have some cons as well yes he has some cons maybe some other time i'll talk to you about it um let's choose digital product right it makes sense you can see ebooks over here music over here anything downloadable you can choose it but but let's see let's see we don't want to we don't want to we don't want to fill in these forms now let's go here and then let's go to settings where is settings let's click on settings let's go to general store settings okay now there are some things you also need to do over here when people are going to part ways with their money they need to be sure that you are legit you are not just uh, you know somebody who wants to just dupe them and stuff like that so they need to make sure you are really who you say you are and you are really the real deal and one of the things that people are going to check is your picture if people cannot see your picture it means that you are an anonymous they can't give an anonymous person money they need to see you and so i would advise you put in your picture over here all right so just um click maybe here select image and then just select any picture let's where should i go where should i go let me go to desktop and let me go to set and let me go to flyer mockup and then let me choose this all right let me just say this is my picture now guys do not use a flyer use your real picture this is just um something i'm going to really close the account very soon okay so you choose your real picture once you choose your real picture you put your real name over here or the name of the store over here you put your username over here as well now this is how it's going to look on your store all right and then you put your email address over here as well and then store description you can put something here and leave it like that or if you have an instagram account put it over here if you have um um you know twitter account put it over here if you have facebook account put it over here because what happens is that it's going to display all of them on your store it's going to boost your credibility more it's good put your number over here now your number is not going to be on seller okay this is only going to be public to you it's going to be access to you and then seller it's nobody else is going to see it if seller needs to reach you this is how they are going to do it okay trust me you need to put it over there because sometimes it gets a little messy over here uh, their system has just a steep, some sometimes minute problems and once they have these minute problems this is how they can contact you as well all right and so click on update store settings and then now that it's updated oops phone field needs okay so i need to they want me to fill it okay so i'll put my number over there all right now make sure you put 233 or 234 if you're in nigeria 234 if you're in ghana 233 continue with it if you're in any part of the country just eliminate the plus sign but put your country code over there click on update store let's see how it looks like all right so it is good now let's go over here miscellaneous store settings this is also very important collect customers mobile numbers and on checkout form this is very crucial kindly click on it this way anytime a customer wants to buy something they will need to fill their telephone numbers over there that way you can easily you know call them follow up how the product is doing tell them that you have another product that is also on selling they can if they love it they can you know if somebody um, tries to buy it and you know decides to stop along the way perhaps you could also have access to their numbers and then also call them as well and so i find this very very good okay all right so now let's see collect post no i don't need this one immediately all right so click this one as well all right that way the customer doesn't need to go round and round and round he's immediately going to see the buy now button over there and just click on it and just make the pages all right and so that's also good now over here i always like to use me merchant okay because seller charges some few charges the seller places some few charges on the amount i don't want the customer to take that burden all right so if the customer sees that burden it stops the customer from making that purchase but then if i add that charge that custom um, seller is going to take i add it to my my cost the customer doesn't even know that he's making that charge all right so if the price is two cities i make the price three cities knowing very well that seller is going to take maybe 50 pesos or one cd if it's 20 dollars i add two dollars to it making 22 dollars knowing very well that seller is going to take two dollars or one dollar out of it okay i don't want the customer to feel that pressure that way they can easily make the purchase and so um also enable cross-selling that way any product you put over there seller is going to show all of them to your customers as well so that you know it can still make more more sales as well i don't want to take this store category size back take this uh, leave all these things like this this is good click on um, update all right click on update 
now let's see what else go here again and then let's go to um currency store currency as well all right now i like to take two th um, three things over here i like to take the pound and i like to take the, the dollars all right that way i can set my price in, in dollars and pounds now the country you are in the currency is going to be there fixed you can't do anything about it but then other international accounts or currencies you can take it so take these three so i can set my own price in dollars i can set my own price in the pound as well and then even though they, they might not be the same conversion if you are in us if you're in um america i can give you a different price a lower price or a higher price in dollars great britain can give you a higher price or a lower price and then Ghana can also give you a different price as well. All right, click on update details. And then over here, I like to take everything over here. That way, no matter the country you are in, no matter the country you are in, you will be able to do the conversion of the currency in your country. All right. So most of the most of the uh, 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 you know most of them are from Ghana. Most of them also use um, USD and Great Britain as well. And then I feel like some people are also using this and the Naira as well. Okay, but whatever, wherever country you are, the conversion will be made for you. Click on update as well. And then that is it. That is basically, let me see. That is basically it. Hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well. I love you all guys. See you in the next video.